I mean, they've called this the American Jobs Plan. Um, so let's talk about the potential impact on the economy and jobs. Um, we'll talk more about the plan's tax hikes in a moment, yeah. but um, what do you see as the overall impact on jobs and, and growth? So here's how I think about it, right? This is not about getting back to full employment. That presumably got taken care of with the, the American Rescue Plan, the $1.9 trillion that they borrowed and, and passed um, earlier this year. So this is meant to be something that affects the performance of the economy on average over long periods of time. So it's the trend rate of growth that's, that's in play. So it's not really about jobs because over long periods of time, if you're getting back to full employment, the, the number of jobs is really dictated by the population and labor force growth more than anything else. So it's not really about jobs. Could be about the quality of jobs, like real wage growth. And there I think it's probably bad news because you know, they intend to raise some corporate uh, uh, tax revenue. Suppose you raise that revenue and you spent it very carefully on high return traditional infrastructure and, and maybe R&D it might break even from a growth perspective, but I doubt it. I mean, most of the evidence would suggest that that would on average uh, diminish capital uh, accumulation, innovation, uh, slow productivity growth, and, and, and as a result, slow G GDP growth, but also slow real wage growth. And that's the bad news for the middle class on this. That's if you just did a piece of this. Now, if you, if you throw in the Medicaid expansion and all the other social welfare initiatives, it, it's a negative for the economy. I think there's that's unquestionably true. And so, I worry about doing that, um, you know, calling it jobs. It's it's the opposite, and no one's going to see it right now because this is meant to be over the next ten years and in the long term. We're in the midst of this bounce back up from from a deep recession, and and so um, if it goes through in this form, I think we've laid the the groundwork for a real problem. 